What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back. Now at the start of the week, we received a delivery and I am so freaking excited to share it with you. So let's do some show and tell. I just need to really zoom out so I can put the whole thing in the frame. Okay, are you ready? That, we got, we got some, some hinges for a bonnet. This whole joke seemed a lot funnier when it was in my head, okay? Let me get what we actually got. Look at that. I told you I needed to zoom out. This is a brand new bonnet for our Lancer. I am flabbergasted that we have this in the garage. I cannot even begin to tell you how many times Millie and I have gone to the wreckers, tried to find a bonnet for the car, can't find one, and here we have a brand new one. I am so happy right now. And not only do we have a brand new bonnet, but we also have these, which are brand new bonnet hinges for a CH Lancer, and I am very happy. I can't believe that we have these in the house and I can't believe we have them ready to use. I'm so freaking excited. Now I wanna say a massive thank you to the guys over at Sterling Parts because they are the ones that made this possible. They actually sent us some bonnet hinges and they sent us a brand new bonnet as well as some cheeky other parts that I can't tell you about yet. But they very kindly sent over these hinges and sent over the bonnet. So thank you so much. I, um, I hope I don't break these. <laughs> now there's a couple of reasons as to why I wanted to replace the bonnet that's currently on the car, which we're gonna have a look at that in a second, but it's been keyed. It's got damage to the front where someone's jumped on it, I think. There's dints in it. It's just, it's not good. We're gonna have a look in a second, so you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about, but it's not great. And unfortunately, like I said before, every single time that I've gone to the wreckers to find a bonnet, even if it's a totally different color to our car, it is so difficult to find something that's not been in a head-on collision, it's an okay condition, and something that's not completely bent out of shape. Because believe it or not, when cars go to the wreckers, they're generally wrecked. And unfortunately, a lot of them have been in head-on collisions, which makes it very difficult to get any parts like a bonnet. Ever since we bought this car, it's had dints and issues with the bonnet. So I'm not gonna bloody know myself with a new one on there. So here's the plan. I'm gonna take you outside. We're gonna have a look at what the bonnet currently looks like. I'm gonna show you the dints, show you the scratches, and show you how bad it actually is. Once we've all looked at the bonnet and it hurts our collective feelings, we're gonna bring the car inside and then work out how to take it off. I've never taken a bonnet off a car, so, this is a learning experience for everybody. But we're gonna bring it in, take the bonnet off. We're gonna disconnect all the wiper fluid pipes and see how that goes together. And then we're gonna put the new bonnet on. Now I'm a little nervous for two reasons. The first one, I've never done this before, which is pretty obvious. The second one, I'm gonna do this completely by myself. I have nobody here to help me. So I don't know how hard it's gonna be to remove a bonnet by myself um, without damaging anything or damaging the new bonnet. So. Let's go have a look at how bad it currently is and uh, we'll go from there. See what I mean? I told you, it's not good. Let's uh, pop the bonnet and we'll work out how to take it off. I am so nervous that I'm gonna accidentally ruin something or scratch something. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I am so freaking excited to see how this is gonna look when it's done. But I'm also very scared about how I'm supposed to lift this off uh, alone. So let's work that out. All right, let's have a look at the bonnet and I'll show you exactly how it attaches to the chassis. So you have these two hinges. So you have a hinge either side and that's exactly what we, uh, what we have our replacement of. But there's a hinge that sits here and that attaches to the base of the bonnet. Now that's only two bolts either side. So it's two bolts there, two bolts on that side and that's what holds the bonnet to the hinges. So I think the first thing we should do is disconnect all of the piping. So everything that lets water go through the, uh, the sprayer for the windshield, we need to disconnect that and put that into the new bonnet. So I'm gonna work out how to pull that out of the old one before we even worry about trying to take it off and uh, then see how we go from there. So you can see it doesn't look too complicated. You've got some piping that runs into the base of the bonnet and then it connects all the way down here where the driver's side hinges and there's just a little a little L connection there that I think if we disconnect that, it should have it separate from the car. Should is the optimum word here. So I'm gonna take all that out and um, see how that goes. All right, well, I mean, that that disconnects it from the base to the bonnet. So the bonnet's now completely separate. Would it be easier to just remove the bonnet with all of that in there and then remove that when it's off the car? I think, 
I think that might be better actually. Yeah, I think, I think that's better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bonnet off and then we'll remove the piping after it's off the car because I've separated that part. So the bonnet should be completely separate with the piping now. And then, I don't know, I think once it's off the car, we'll work out how to get it out because I think it'll be better. I think it's too hard to get in there now and try and you know, undo everything while it's in a weird angle on top of the engine. So we'll take the bonnet off, work out how to get them out and uh, and go from there. Again, I have absolutely no idea how to take this off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some towels and I'm just gonna put that underneath the bonnet and on the windshield just in case to stop us from scratching it or damaging anything. I know in retrospect that if I drop the bonnet on the windshield, there's a very real chance we're gonna break the whole windshield. So towels aren't really gonna do anything, but just as an extra precaution, I guess. <laughs> I'll get some towels and then we'll uh, start taking these bolts apart and uh, try and lift this off, I guess. I was just about to say, don't tell Millie that I'm using our towels, but uh, obviously she's gonna know when she watches this video. So princess, I am, uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> all right, she's uh, all toweled up. Let's uh, let's get a ratchet and see if we can um, take this old bonnet off. I have no idea what size these are. Oh, turns out they're a 12. There you go. First guess, how's that? Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna keep the bonnet stay in place and I'm gonna undo these most of the way. I'm probably gonna keep the top ones in just a little bit to stop it from falling when I do the other side. I have no idea, man, I'm freaking out. Okay, well, let's just, um, Let's just try and break these and make sure they're not done too tight and uh, we'll uh, slow and steady it, I guess. <laughs> oh my freaking God. It's times like this that I'm very happy that I'm six foot six because I imagine that being a hell of a lot harder if you're a smaller person. That was, that was a little bit easier than I thought it would be. I mean, we're technically halfway there, right? Getting this off was a hell of a lot easier than I thought it would be. Saying that, I am tall. It makes it a lot easier being a tall person, reaching across the whole engine to grab from underneath. But I imagine if you were a smaller person, this would not be as easy as I made it look. I guess now that that's off, let's have a look at these hinges because I haven't even really had a look myself. So this is the top part of the hinge, which attaches to the bonnet, obviously. And then this part is what attaches to the chassis. Now there's a bolt here and I think another bolt down there. So I don't know how to get this off to get that off, but I think that's what we need to look into. All right, I'll, uh, I'll set up the camera and we'll try and take this side hinge off and uh, see how difficult it actually is. All right, I got the hinge off. Let me show you what it looks like down there. Okay, so you can see the two mounting points. We've got the first one just here and the second one is back down there. Now the one at the back is actually a space where the bolt goes into, whereas the other one is a welded bolt that a nut sits on. So what I think we're gonna do is take the other hinge off the other side and uh, then get ready to install the new hinges. All right, I've done both sides. I've taken both the hinges off. So I guess let's, uh, let's open up the new ones and um, compare. It's not very often that I get new car parts. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I opened a brand new car part. Normally, everything I get is from the wreckers. God, look at that. Okay, this is the old left-hand side uh, mounting bracket. This is the new left-hand side mounting bracket. Look at that, side by side, look at the difference. I mean, obviously this is a brand new part, this is old, but I never really get to use new parts. So this is, uh, this is a new experience for me. <laughs> I don't know if being able to open up some new car parts is a good thing or a bad thing, because now it's sort of like, it's like getting tattoos, you know? You leave the tattoo parlor, you want another one. Now I'm opening brand new car parts and I kind of want to get more, so. This is a curse. God, they both look so freaking good. They look so good. I mean, they're only a bloody hinge for the bonnet and you only see like less than half of it, but it still makes me very happy. So we're gonna chuck these back on the car and then, uh, and then we get to open the bonnet. I still haven't opened it. I have no idea if it's okay or not. And I probably should have checked that before I took the old bonnet off, but oh, what are you gonna do? All right, let's, uh, let's put these bonnet hinges on. Okay, hinges are on. So I'm gonna get the old bonnet. I'm gonna put it on my little work stand thing and uh, we'll see if we can take the old pipe out. Why does that sound so gross? It's so immature. I'm gonna put it up on the work stand, see if I can take all of the old hosing out and then we can open up the new bonnet 
Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the underside of the old bonnet. And you can see, this is where we disconnected it from the, uh, the car at the start. We've got to follow this all the way through. And then in here is where we have those little jets that spray the water onto the windscreen. So we're gonna to have to try and get them out. By looking at them, I don't think it's too difficult. I think it's a little twist and clip sort of situation. So I'm gonna have a bit of a look, see if we can get it all out and uh, put in the new one. All right, so I got all the hosing out of the old bonnet and I got the little water jets out, uh, out of the top of the bonnet. And I have to say this, this part, getting these out was the hardest part about all of this so far. This was the hardest thing I've had to do so far was get these bloody little jets out. I mean, I understand you don't want them moving around and stuff while you're driving, but my God, that was harder than getting the actual bonnet off. Did not expect that. Okay, now that they're done, the old bonnet is pretty much empty. So I guess there's nothing left to do than to uh, open up the new box. Let's have a look at the new one. Would you look at that? Look at that. Brand new bonnet. Oh my freaking God. This looks amazing. I'm not gonna have a proper look until we're done so we can see it together and it'll be, uh, be a nice surprise. I am so excited to see what this looks like finished. So let's chuck this back into the new bonnet and uh, get ready to install it back on the car. All right, it's a now or never. So I've got everything on the new bonnet. Everything's ready to go. The only thing we have left to do is get the new bonnet and put it on the new bonnet hinges. And uh, let's just hope we don't drop it, I guess. Let's go. Oh my freaking... God. Taking it off was so much easier because I didn't care about scratching anything or like doing any damage to the old bonnet. But this one, oh my gosh. But I mean, look at that. It's on, it's done. I'm, I'm chuffed. I can't believe it. The new hinges are on, the new bonnet's on. Dude, I am very, very excited. Now we're pretty much done. The bonnet's on, the hinges are on, everything's looking good. The only thing that we have to check now is that we can actually close the bonnet. We wanna make sure that it's straight, make sure it doesn't hit any of the front quarter panels and uh, see if it latches, because I haven't tested any of this. I have no idea. So we're gonna find out together and uh, hopefully we don't have to make any changes. Let's, uh, let's see if it closes. I'm, I'm very nervous. I shouldn't be this nervous, I don't think. I mean, why wouldn't it close? It's exactly the same bonnet. Oh God, okay. Slow, slow. I mean, it's on the latch. Everything looks good. Oh, look at that. It's a little bit higher at the top of the fender. What about the other side? It's a little bit lower on this side. So the gap here is a little bit bigger than it is on the other side. I don't know why, but I mean, it looks okay. I'm gonna have to do some tweaking to make sure I can get that to line up better because this just, it's not perfect and I've got them catching on this plastic for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Anyway, I'm gonna have to do some tweaking. I'm gonna have to work out why they're rubbing on everything. Cause you can see, look here, it's lifted all of this up because it's catching on a plastic. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder why. Okay, I'm gonna do some stuffing around with these hinges and work out exactly why they're not lining up 100%. Maybe I've put them on wrong. Maybe I haven't tightened them properly. I have no idea. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna see if I can get it to be perfect, but we know me and I don't know if that's gonna be perfect. So <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna get this lined up a million times better and then we're gonna have a look. So enjoy this juicy B-roll. <laughs> So there you go, not bad at all. I am very, very impressed with myself to be able to take off the old bonnet, put the new one on and do it with no help. But I mean, overall, it wasn't really that difficult of a job. The hardest part for me was to get the little water jet things out. That was the hardest part of everything. The bonnet's difficult, obviously to move is quite large, but to get those little water jets out of the old bonnet was 10 times harder than anything else I had to do. Now there was a couple of things I had to do to get the bonnet to line up. I had to actually take the bonnet back off the hinges and realign the hinges because when I put the bonnet on, 
I accidentally bent one. It wasn't much, it was only a little bit, but that little tiny bend in the passenger side hinge was enough to sort of throw everything out of alignment. But I got it all straightened up again. All you need to do is just be patient with it. And if it doesn't look right, just reassess. I also want to say another massive thank you to the guys over at Sterling Parts for sending me the bonnet and these hinges. If you guys haven't heard of Sterling Parts before, they're an Australian parts supplier. They have different branches across the country. And I actually found these parts on their website and I was going to buy them before they sent them out. They do a bunch of different things for heaps of different models. If you want to check out their website, I'll leave a link to it in the description or you can just go to sterlingparts.com.au. So Thank you very much for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to leave it a like. Also subscribe. I post new videos every week and you don't want to miss them. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. I'll leave all the links in the description. But other than that, I'm going to see you next week. I love your faces. Bye.